everybody, how you doing? We are sailing on Emerald Azura. This is Emerald Cruises 100 passenger yacht. This is your cabin tour. We are on 405. Come on in. This is a seven deck ship and it goes from decks two to seven. So we are on four about midway up. This is the starboard side toward the front. The observation lounge is at the end of the hall and there is a laundry uh, guest self-service laundry um, right at the mid corridor, pretty close to here. So it's a very convenient place. You can see this is a sort of a modern design, basic gray, white, very spacious. We like it. Uh, plenty of space for us to settle in this week so far. It's got a little balcony out here I want to show you. Kind of a slim balcony. It's got a couple of nice little chairs and a table. The cushions on the chairs. It's nice to step out and get the views as we're cruising here in Italy. This controller here does a, a blackout shade that comes down. So it's adjustable there. Put that switch and you also have more of a sheer curtain you can push to close. Um, nice little two seat couch and a chair, footstool and a table. Over here you've got your flat screen TV and this is where you can find your daily program. You can see it there. They've been not providing the paper programs as a conservation measure, but you can ask to have those instead at guest services. I'll either bring them in your room or go pick them up at guest services every day, but you can look at your daily program and a whole range of other things. It's got some TV channels, a few basic uh, cable and news channels and some movies on demand. The uh, coffee machine, a tea kettle here four nice deep drawers that have been good for storing um, our clothes we've had no problem two people there's i tell you, there's a lot of storage cubbies and the wardrobes i'll get to this mini bar has stock of some items in it some cans of soda and beers and things like that and you also have some snacks here those are uh for fee items we do have the top level drinks package, the platinum drinks package on board. And they say that the uh, mini bar items are not included. So a little bit unusual that that's the case, but we've been like getting our drinks at the bar, bring our cans of soda back if we want. Um, there's power outlets here. You got the US plugs, some European style plugs, some USBs all back in the channel there. They do provide water in the room and a couple of water bottles. There are water bottle filling stations in the observation lounge. That's where we found that. And you've got the quiet boxes for when you go on your tours, the charging station here for that, and a little in cabin phone. Now the bed, you might see it's sort of closed in the surrounding base. Um, we're used to storing our luggage underneath the bed. So you might think you can't do that here because this is sort of blocked off, but we found that you can lift these up on each side here and actually fit your suitcases under. A little tricky, you got a channel here that you sort of drop on the rail and that works pretty well, hides away your suitcases. Over here, there is power on the top. Here, there's a nice long channel where you can place a lot of items. There's some power and your light switch controls are here, a USB as well, and a couple of cubbies, a reading lamp. And on each side of the bed, they provided a clip-on. I think Colleen's got hers clipped on over there. And it's a little, a little blue uh, light blocker. So it's supposed to help you sleep better it's a light therapy sort of measure um, if you're into that what we have noticed is that you can see there are no um, traditional end tables or nightstands on each side of the bed so it does make it a little awkward to try to maybe reach back and have your phone there or up here for maybe you have a little water on your nightstand for the middle of the night or you keep your watch there or any other items that you want to have handy so it's it's kind of a reach back if you were to use these. 
So what we've done, because we do like our own nightstands uh, near the bed when we sleep, is Colin has taken this uh, little table from over here, put it here. It's working quite nicely for her. And I didn't have anything to use, so I grabbed uh, our suitcase, and it sort of matches up nicely there. And we're able to put our phones, chargers, earbuds, um, if we listen to like, the podcast as we go to sleep. So that has worked. That worked okay. So a little hack if you wanted to think about that if you ever are cruising in one of these rooms. What I will say is I don't normally comment about how comfortable a bed is in these cruise ship cabins, is this is among the most comfortable beds we have ever slept in. Colleen has particularly enjoyed it, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Great, great sleeps in these beds. Let me show you the storage here on the wardrobe. We've got a couple of doors here that open up. So the hangers work there. They do give you a laundry basket, laundry bags, shoehorn, clothes brush, and you can get bath robes and slippers here or even in the spa when you're down there using their sauna. They will provide you with bath robes that you can use around the boat. They have a nice shoe tray here that goes too deep. And another drawer here. And then I'm using this side closet here. And there's the safe, a couple of drawers, and another tray for shoes. What I will say is this closet that I'm using, I'm six foot four, and this rail is really, really high up here, you can see. Like I'm reaching almost to my top reach to hang up my hangers. So that's a little peculiar if you're a little shorter. Um, I don't know, you might have to have somebody help you hang items in here actually. Um, in the bathroom, you can see there is a nice full length mirror on the door. And then there's more big mirror here, the basin, and the nice deep storage drawer here for some items. And along the side here, you have your makeup mirror. The vanity has a door here. And this big one opens up as well. There are towel rods, hanging hooks on the back of the door. Handheld bidet there. So this is a nice big shower. It has the clothesline up here, a grab rod, um, adjustable with the wand your uh, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, temperature controls on each side. You gotta be careful um, to know which one is on and off so you don't adjust the temperature while you're in there. We found the water can be quite hot and could be hard to read once you're in the middle of a steamy shower. So make sure you know this on the right is the on off. Um, kind of as a little small kitty for putting other items that you might want in the shower. Um, and it also doesn't have like a step bar for shaving your legs for people who might want to shave their legs in the shower it has been pointed out to me that these items in particular could have been a little better and more convenient so that is your shower the shower head has three different settings so you can have the pressure and the um, water moving in different ways and that is our tour of our cabin. But it is like, this is a big space. It is quite comfortable. We are enjoying it. This is an elegant ship. I'm gonna have the rest of a full ship tour in a separate video. I'm gonna link that in the description box below. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.